in this video i'm going to be sharing with you five things that i miss about living in ghana but first let me go grab my tea i'll be right back what is happening my beautiful people welcome back to another video on the channel my name is richard and i provide tips tricks strategies to enhance your international students experience in the united states i also sometimes share my personal experiences living in the united states as an international student so if this is content that you like then consider subscribing to the channel and hitting on the notification bell so that anytime i post a new video you will be one of the people to get notified having said that someone asked me a question last time and they were like hey richard what is it that you miss about living in ghana and it got me thinking and i said well i'm going to make a video and just talk about a couple of things that i miss living in ghana in no particular order i miss a lot of things but i just wanted to use this short video to just talk about five of these things that i miss and to also hear from you about what you miss about living in ghana or your home country so if you're ready let's get right into the video okay so the first thing that i miss about living in ghana is the food mm. just talking about food makes me hungry but yes i really miss the food my favorite fufu joint at adabraka near tigo office my favorite watcher joint at atomic junction and my favorite evening watcher joint inside of adaraka shout out to sisters watching but yes i miss the food living here makes me appreciate the authentic ghanaian foods that you know we have there are a lot of international restaurants and african restaurants here but it still lacks a certain level of the street credibility that ghanaian foods come with i've also been sort of trying to cook a lot just to mitigate that feeling of missing Ghanaian food but it is expensive you know getting the ingredients and it's just expensive to eat Ghanaian food here so but yes I miss Ghanaian food especially my early morning fufu with my friends and colleagues at work or my late night Apollo theater kebab or my Madina Friday arm joints but yes I really miss the food and if you can send some Ghanaian food my way please <laughs> Send me some. Miss it. Please. Okay, so the second thing that I miss about Ghana is the fact that I miss having to rush for trotro. I know that sounds crazy, but I just miss the thrill and the adventure of having to chase after a trotro or having to stay in the line for a long time before a trotro comes or just having to bump each other just to get a space to sit in the car here everything is sort of structured i know that when i'm at the bus stop by 8 15 the bus should be there by 8 45 or by 9 or by 8 30 so it's kind of like everything is structured but you know i miss that uncertainty anxiety whether when you go to circle at four o'clock you're going to get a car to madina or whether or not you should rather go to Tema station to go get a car you know like just the thought of figuring out what to be the best time to catch a bus to where you are going it's just a whole adventure on its own and i and i kind of miss that um, about living in ghana as well the third thing that i miss about living in ghana is obviously my family if you've known me for a while you know that i'm very close to my family my mom my brother my sister like they are my absolute world and i haven't seen my brother and my sister in three years and i miss them to death i miss my family they are my everything and even though yes we talk on whatsapp but because of the time difference it's either i'm going to bed and i'm leaving them messages to respond to or they are going to bed and i'm just waking up it's just a whole kind of situation but yes i really do miss my family you know and just being here by yourself creates a certain level of loneliness you know especially when you are out there and you see people shopping with their families and stuff you just you just miss your family and yes i kind of miss that i miss the arguments i used to have with my sister or 
me having to scold my brother for coming home late and stuff like that you know those bits and pieces of fights here and there that brings a whole different vibe to you know being in the family and stuff like that but yes i really really do miss my family another thing that i miss about ghana is the fact that i don't get to travel as much as i did when i was in ghana i miss being able to just arrange with three friends in church or just a few friends plan a trip and then boom we are on our way i miss the fact that i could go visit you know historical places i could go visit places that had like really chill environment that brings you close to nature like the waterfalls the umbrella rocks all of these things i just miss that sense of traveling adventure and all of that because here time is like very very tiny so you actually have to sit and plan your vacations you know ahead but in ghana you can just hit up two three four friends after church and be like Charlie, let's go to the beach or let's go to Cape Coast or let's go somewhere and then, you know, it happens, you know, but here I kind of miss that. And also because I don't feel a sense of community here as I feel in Ghana, it's kind of really difficult to ask, you know, people that, hey, let's go on a trip or something without them attaching any uh, kind of vibe to it. But yes, I miss being able to travel and for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you've seen me post a bunch of travel pictures and stuff on my Instagram pages. So yes, I really do miss traveling. Even though I still go on road trips here and there, but it is not the same as being in Ghana and traveling. You know, there are so many places to see and so much to do, even on a budget. So yes, I definitely miss traveling. Another thing that I miss about living in ghana is the weather yes i know again this sounds crazy but being here and experiencing all these constantly changing weather just is not doing it for me and i just miss that harsh sunlight that makes you feel like jumping into the sea or just finding a pool and chilling in even though the sun shines here it's it has a different level of vibe to it you know most of the sunshine here feels like it just glows on your skin and you know you don't even get enough vitamin d as much as you know the harsh african sun gives you you know we i miss the heat i i kind of miss that level of heat where it's like you know you 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 feel that this heat is not normal you know i, I just miss it and until you live in a cold condition where your body is basically craving for vitamin d you would not really or fully understand why I say I miss the sun. I've had to buy a bunch of vitamin D pills to take just to supplement what my body is getting from the sun. So yes, I really do miss the climate, the weather and the, the, the sunshine um, especially. The last thing that I kind of miss about Ghana is Doomso. So for those of you who don't know what Doomso is, it's basically when you know your light goes off and then it comes back on or today you have light tomorrow you don't have light or you have light right now in the next 10 minutes you don't have light i miss it because it it sort of brings its own adventure if you have a different view or if you think differently about doom so share that in the comment section below but yes since i've been in the united states i've had lights out only twice and it was all because of a heavy storm and you know our power lines got knocked out by the heavy winds but apart from that i've constantly had electricity which kind of feels weird because you know during the doomsaw era you walk around with your charger if you go to a restaurant the first thing you are trying to look for is a seat that's close to a socket where you can plug your charger and all of that or even not knowing whether you have light at home and stuff like that it's just thrilling in a way but yes i i kind of miss that and i wish i was experiencing that as well like i said you may hold a contrary view to that i know i want you to see the humorous side of the why i miss doom so but yes i do miss it a lot i know i said i was going to talk about five things that i miss but i just could not leave this one out so here's the last thing that i miss about ghana i miss the traffic 
I know that sounds crazy as well, but I really miss the traffic. I miss just being in the trotro with the heat and just being in traffic and and even watching some drivers try to be adventurous to find the quickest routes or to find new routes and stuff just to get us to our locations. I know, I know it's weird, but yeah, it's usually when I'm in traffic like that, it's an adventure for me because you know some drivers just drive as if they know where they are going or what they are doing and they just hit a roadblock. I remember a driver followed a private car through East Legon and people kept asking, driver, do you know where you are going? He was like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. And this private car that the driver was following took a sharp turn and ended up in front of his gate and there was a dead end and then instead of us getting angry, we literally just started laughing in the bus. So yes, I really do miss that traffic, both vehicular traffic and human traffic that you experience especially when it's close to christmas and you know I, I i just miss those ones a lot oh yes so i remember i also miss the holidays i miss the holidays in ghana being here and realizing how limited holidays are i sort of appreciate the holidays that we have in ghana so for those of you who don't come from ghana i'm going to put up here a list of all the holidays in Ghana in a year. Trust me, it's crazy. So yes, I really miss the holidays and I wish that there were enough holidays here that man can sort of take the day off and just relax and chill. But yes, the holidays here are really tight and that makes me appreciate the holidays in Ghana more. Again, I know some of you may hold a contrary view to the fact that we have a lot of holidays in Ghana. Please share your views in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Okay, people. So these are some of the things that I miss about living in Ghana. Like I said, I wanted to make this video short. So thank you for watching. Again, if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing. Share this amongst your community. Let's laugh about some of the things that I've shared. Even though to me, it's really serious and personal. It's kind of affecting my health especially the food aspect but yes share this amongst your community it, subscribe to the channel you know all the language that comes with watching a youtube video and until i see you on the next video stay safe out there and when you see a prayer say one for me too peace